Good afternoon everyone, my name is John Molner from the Cod Scallops in Nottingham. Um, I'm here today in our production development kitchen and I'm just going to show you a great alternative to uh, fish and chips. Each month we're going to do a different fish, focus on a different fish and show you some alternatives to traditional deep fried cod. So, we have some amazing uh, mackerel that we're coming this morning. We're going to do a tandoori spice mackerel, so I'm going to show you how to fillet the mackerel. Uh, and then we're going to serve it with a beautiful fennel cabbage slaw and a nice harissa yogurt so nice and healthy and we're going to serve that in a flatbread so very quickly i'm just going to show you how to fill it the mackerel these mackerel came in today uh the beautiful cornish mackerel so camera i don't know where the camera's gone there you go so what you do is you just go in behind the fin and you hit the bone you hit the center bone and then you turn your knife so it's level and just run your knife all the way down and there's one mackerel filleted. I'll just show you another one. So under the fin there, down to the middle, turn your knife level. And as long as your knife is running along the bone, you will end up with a nice fillet of mackerel with the fish not being on the bone. So that's what you want to aim for. You want to aim for a nice fillet of mackerel, like so. And I'm just going to show you how to debone de it. So we're just going to trim these little um, little trim there on the bone and then this is this is called the belly bone so we're just going to trim the belly bone off get rid of that little bit of fat and then running down the center here you've got some bones uh, this is known in the trade as v-bone so you just go either side of the bone and then you literally pull it out and there's a fillet of mackerel already deboned just run through these obviously your fisherman can do this for you I would suggest striking up a really good relationship with a fishmonger, talk to him, get him to V-bone it for you. But again, it's not a difficult fish to fill it or bone, so it's quite easy and quick to do. Things to look for when you're looking to buy fresh fish alternatives is nice glossy eyes, nice dark, dark red gills, it's nice and shiny, it's not dull looking, uh, and it shouldn't really smell fishy. It should uh, almost smell of the sea. So like I say, Dead easy, down each side like so, last one, bones are there, look, either side of the bones, pull that out, I'm just going to quickly dust these with, um, this is a tandoori spice mix, it's made for us, um, but again, you can buy these from, from any sort of supermarket, tandoori powder, or you can even buy the sort of tandoori paste. You want to be quite um, generous with it because you want it to sort of stick to the fillets. And then we have, I'm just going to turn them over a little bit on the other side. And that's the mackerel all ready to go in the pan. I'm just going to go and wash my hands. Hi guys, me again. So we're back. I've got a pan, non-stick pan, medium hot heat. We're just going to go in there with a little bit of um, pomace oil um, or rapeseed oil. We're just going to go in with our beautiful tandoori dusted mackerel. Skin side down, you can see the mackerel will balloon up because it, it just shows how fresh they are. But they will sit back down to get that nice crispy skin. So the mackerel, in there, we'll need them to tick along, and then to go with that mackerel, we're just going to do a, a beautiful fennel cabbage uh, carrot slaw with a bit of coriander in there. But like I said, an alternative to mayonnaise, we're just going to dress this with some uh, lemon juice and some olive oil. So you can use a mandolin to slice this, or you can slice it by hand. Um, you want to be quite fine with it. So in with the cabbage. into the slaw. So I'm not going to grate it. I just find that this gives you a better uh, finish to the coleslaw. Nice long strands of carrot in there. Just 
like so. Give that to the rabbit. A little bit of fennel. So again, um, my wife loves fennel, it's her favourite ingredient, so plenty of fennel in this floor. She hates it really. Want to impress her, just give her a load of fennel. And then we're going to get a little bit of coriander. Roughly chopped in there, and then we're going to use about a third of a white onion in that. So, again, this can be pre sliced, already marinated to go. Um, so, the only thing that you'll have to do is, is cook, the, cook the mackerel and build it really. So, we're going to go in there with some pepper, a little bit of rock salt, going to get a lemon. Zest of a lemon. So you can see I've still not touched the mackerel. The mackerel's there happily sitting along medium hot heat. And we're just gonna hit the floor with a load of lemon juice. So probably I want the juice of a good large lemon. Maybe even another half or quarter. And then we're literally just going to leave that to macerate. So what that does is the lemon juice will break down and start um, softening the cabbage and the and the fennel and the carrot. But you get a really nice, fresh, zingy uh, coleslaw. Great with with obviously anything spice. Cut through and it also helps cut through the fat of the mackerel. So slaw's done. We're going to start having a look at this um, mackerel. You can see, dead easy. Flip it over. Nice, beautiful crust on there. Just like so. We don't need any pepper in here. We're going to hit this with a little bit of salt. And then while we're waiting for that, I'll just move that out of the way. I'm just going to put a flatbread in to warm under the grill. Again, you can just pop them in your hot cabinet, your frying ranges. And then we're just going to finish it. We're just going to have a little bit of harissa yogurt. So this is a low fat Greek yogurt. And this is a very small container of harissa catering size. So harissa paste you can buy in most supermarkets, beautiful Moroccan spice. Um, really, really good with, with sort of spice dishes. So we're just going to mix that up. And then we're just going to add a tiny bit of lemon juice to that. And then the rest of the lemon juice, we're just going to put on the, the mackerel. Now that mackerel is cooked now. So we're just going to leave that um, to one side while we build the wife's lunch. So, yogurt ready. I mean, this is so easy. Two or three minutes, we're done. It's the slaw, flatbreads. Just warm them. And like I say, this, this, I think this could work on, on, uh, on any fish and chip menu at all. So, here we go. Flatbread. Nice pile of slaw. Try and get a little bit of everything. A couple of fillets of mackerel. Just like so. Fill of the yogurt. Turn it over. There you have guys, a tandoori spiced mackerel wrap with slaw and arissa yogurt. Enjoy.